it doesn't seem to matter how passionate entrepreneurs are about their product, very few manage to separate the dragons from their money. But can Mark Farah persuade them to hand him some cash? He's looking for $200,000. Hello Dragons, my name is Marc Farah, I'm a French chocolatier and I have been in business for about five years now. My first store was opened in 2003 in London, Ontario and uh, I have been producing uh, chocolate truffles ever since. I started the business with about a $20,000 budget which $10,000 were a Home Depot cart, okay, had nothing. My wife and I, we went through it and um, two years in business I opened a second store with again nothing, I, I'm, I'm just a fresh immigrant off the boat. Years Where are you from, here. Mark? France, and I was born in Brazil. So, you know, long story. So uh, after two years, I was able to go to a bank and say, "Listen, you know who I am. You know what I, what kind of guts I have, and will you lend me enough money to open a second store?" I bet they said yes. They said right away, yes. Mark borrowed from the bank for his last round of financing. Now he's come before the Dragons to try to grow his two small shops into a chain of truffle franchises. How much are you asking? 200000 For what? For 30% of my uh, company. Who makes the truffles in the second I do. store? So you're I making do. the truffles. That's an art. I have Make, an apprentice making option. truffles is an art, isn't well, it? Absolutely. The goal of the stores is to make it in front of the customers. We would be training the franchisees to make it on site. And you could you teach me. Somebody? Absolutely. Mark, how long is the learning curve? Like I've never, I can't cook anything. I burn water. With the right equipment, uh, I would train someone within one month to six weeks. And again, the how rest... How can we bring that? You see, that's a bit of a problem because that's a long time. Robert, that, that's not a long time. Oh, it's not? No. Why are your stores successful now? Why? Because I love my business. Nobody works with me if they don't have the same passion for I understand my customer. I've been in their shoes. So Did have a little taste of the product? Absolutely. Yeah. I brought yeah. you, good, I brought you a box. Split. You'll lose These are it. Irish cream. Those four here. Give me the one you think's the best you make. Um, oh, wow. Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow. Those are great, well, Mark. Have cream. Mark's truffles please the dragon's palates. Maybe but are his numbers as appealing? Um, we can produce 4,000 truffles a day. Uh, again, 30 cents cost, $1.70 retail, which is what I'm selling today. It's like there's competition out there, right? Absolutely. Why Most... is this product going to be as successful as a franchise Absolutely. going across Canada? I can answer Canada. that easily. Um, most of it is because they lost their passion. I have my passion, and I will never lose it. I am not into this only to make money. I'm into this to make my customer happy. Yeah, unfortunately, the and people sitting this side of the fence are in it to make money. So Absolutely. No, no but no, there no, is the, think, the numbers think, are there. Right? I think if but you're I not think, passionate yeah, about it... You, we're all in the same. I think we have to have a passion. You have oh, to have yeah. a passion. Yeah, absolutely. This absolutely. kid's got a passion for I like, his product. I like what you're doing. I think there's, there's something here. I don't know if you should think about franchising right away. Mm -hmm. Two it's, things you got going for you. Cost is low. Return is high. This is almost good to the pizza business. Not quite, but you're getting very close. I, uh, I'm just, I'm just impressed with you as an individual because it, it radiates from you your Thank confidence. You. And I'm holding this myself. Is, this is not a space that that I invest in, so I'm out for that reason. But I'm going to give you 10 out of 10 as a presenter and an entrepreneur and an operator, which is the most impressive piece. Thank you. I'm out. And it was a pleasure. And we're thinking. <laughs> Another one, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies sway, first. Sway Jennifer. my opinion. It's hard to turn this guy down. Yeah. It's painful. You, you are a fantastic <laughs> Thank you. presenter. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. Souvenir, my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. You, you've done a wonderful job. Thank, Thank you. you, Mark. You, you're successful. Um, You've started with nothing. You're you're making it. You have a dream, a passion, a goal. So how about I'm excited about you. Guts. Um, yeah, you've got the guts. You've got everything, and that's a key to go. Um, so what's missing? If I got everything. <laughs> The expertise that you need is in the retail side of things, and that's not my expertise, 
and I don't have that to bring to you Fair enough. and make the business together as partners a success. So because of that, I'm out. Even though I think it's a great business, I would be out. The only thing that is separating me from success at this exact moment, it's not ambition, it's not guts. Uh, it's really that push of uh, a little bit of the financial side and the mentoring and the... Uh... Mark, I like the numbers. I, I like the numbers because I like the small footprint I'm having a problem with the valuation, though. So, Aren't we partners in this? Shouldn't I be getting 50% at least in this business? 50% I would, uh, I would consider. I look at the numbers. In, uh, if in two years I can, I can give you back time and a half, obviously we have to be uh, placed in the right location. But I'm getting 50% of your existing stores also. In this deal? Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that wasn't what I, uh, what I brought to the table, but again... You now know. you see the dark side of it. Oh, you. no, absolutely, and I'm ready. I, you know, it's a back and forth thing. Here's the challenge. I like it. I really like it. But I don't want to be in the restaurant business. No. I want to be in the franchise. I want to see one of these at every mall in 150 square foot. I want to log on the internet, see how much each one of them is making every night for me. Absolutely. I've got a guy who's in that business. I'm going to wait to see what he does. Will Mark have to give up half his company and share his dream? No chocolate will top this. And or will Jim jump in with a better offer? Whew. I've made cheese truffles. I know. What's really clicking in my mind is, is I think you really, really got a deal here. I really do. I just don't know how much more I want to take on and, uh, on the basis of that. Uh, well, Mark, you know what? As Jim's talking, I realize it's a lot of work. 50%. I hear you, but you know, I think this is something I like to invest in things that I can add some level of expertise to. And I think that this is something I'm excited by because you're such a great presenter. I just, I just, at the end of the day, I'm like, Kevin, I don't, I don't know anything about this business. Just on, just on that basis, okay. I'm out. Okay, thank you. My last shot. <laughs> I love Boston pizza. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> Truffles, too. Uh, I... I'll look at a 50-50 deal with you. Uh, I'd also have to have the right to make sure we have an appointed CEO Absolutely. to run the company. And, and, and you'd be my biggest, best I'm troublemaker. the creative side of the business. I really believe there's something here. Uh, I'm going to have to do some due diligence on this to make sure all the numbers that you say are right. But if, if they are right, then I think we got a deal. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Jim will put up the entire 200000 and take half of Mark's company. Thank you. Mark, any more truffles? No. <laughs> no we, can't, we can't afford to do that anymore. No giveaways. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you soon. See you soon. He's proven out the mob yep. on the 150, and the guy is rock solid. He is a rock solid guy. So, how do you well, feel? Amazing, amazing. I couldn't believe it. You did give up more than you yes. thought you were going to give up. Yes, but see, I think that uh, you're better off having a, a smaller pie, a smaller piece of a bigger pie, than have a big piece of a small pie. I will be now partnered with someone very successful, so to me it's an amazing opportunity. I loved watching that because even when Jennifer was kind of thinking about it, you were like, oh my, I, uh, you're using the body language there. Yeah, I try to feed them more chocolate and uh, you know, it, all it takes is one, right? Mm -hmm. So out of five, I think it's a great, great success. Well done. Absolutely, thank you. Okay, it was well, a pleasure. congratulations. Thank all you. Right, thanks a lot. <laughs> Here to congratulate Mark, Elia, his wife, and Ryan, his apprentice. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.